G'day everybody, it's James here from Dark Arts Lockpicking. Hope you're all doing well. Pizza locks, doing some hacking, but as always, keeping it by your legal. So, we all love them in some way, shape, or form. As you can tell by the actual thumbnail of the product that I've actually got for you today. But, Leashy Picks. They are amazing. They have taken, taken lock picking to the next level when it comes to making it kind of easier. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not, you know, anyone can just stick a lishy in Peter Locker. It still takes skills and understanding of what is going on to be able to get one to work. But when it comes to residential lockouts, they are literally one of my first go-tos. Uh, if I can't slip the latch or bypass it, then the door, I literally just go straight for next a Lishy pick. Because um, they just work so well with that. I have not had any problems at all. Especially when you've got some locks where you actually need a key tip in to be able to manipulate the actuator. You can turn the core as much as you want and it doesn't manipulate the actuator unless it's pushed in. With a key, Lishy's help in that regards. Uh, automotive lockouts as well. I use Lishy picks. I have a couple of Lishy picks for automotive. But my collection is growing. In saying that, I still stick to the ones that I'm going to come across, the locks that I'm coming across and use on a daily basis. I'm not going to have um, Schlags and I do have a quick set. Yeah, we kind of use them here, some rarely. Uh, we do have locks very similar, but they're not. Um, but I'm not going to get stuff that I don't use. But if you start collecting them, because I mean, even in Locksport, you know, we all start collecting tools. I start off with a very basic pick set. And now I have more tools and equipment than I can bloody wish to count. But you're going to want something to put all your picks in as you start collecting. I had them all in plastic cases, which I was you know, sliding together and con connecting together. And it's all right, but... I don't know if he's a good mate or a bad mate because he likes to make me spend money. <laughs> I'm only joking. But a mate of mine, Andrew, said about getting a case um, to keep all the lishies in. And he is a bloody awesome guy. He's a great, great friend. He sent me a couple of items, um, a couple of issues as well, down. But he's like, you know, get a case for your lishies. Now, there's there was two that you could choose from. Uh, off of AliExpress, because, I mean, it's quite cheap on there to get cases. Um, you can get Lishies off there as well. They are cheaper than not always the best, but in a pinch, they do work. Um, you may not be able to decode properly, but they still work. But um, he said about getting a case, and I was looking and looking and looking at the different cases, trying to find a good price. And I got this one, I think it was like $27 something, um, which really, kind of, even with the tax, kind of annoyed me. Didn't round it up to a solid, you know, even number, so I ended up purchasing a watch as well for like 14 bucks. Um, but I ended up going with this case here. And as Andrew said, he's got one and he absolutely loves it. It's aesthetics is actually quite nice. It kind of looks like carbon fiber in a way. Um, the pattern styling on it. I'll get a good view for you. It does have a nice... Oh, it's got a handle. You can carry it. It's got a nice heavy-duty zipper that goes all the way around. Like that. And then it opens up. And you have your compartments. Now, you've got a netted compartment in here, which is usually where I throw in a couple of the spaces that I have that I've printed. Um, and you can put other tools and some key blanks and maybe lish key cutting pliers. The photos show in here as well if you want to keep all in one kit. Um, but nice little compartment here. You can put some more equipment. And then we have our organizers. So I've kind of got, this can hold quite a few lishies as you can see. Um, I've got blades down the end here, which I probably will never use, um, but they're in there just in case. But these here are actually, I like the way that these are laid out. We've got our pockets, or our little flaps, folders, where we can actually stick our Lishy picks in. 
and you can hold, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen. We've got twenty-eight spaces where you can put Lishy picks. Twenty-eight Lishies in one. I don't need that many because I'm not going to come across that many locks. Um, but, you know, it's nice organised. Now, one of the other good things I love about this is not only do they have the little elastic pockets where you can slide your Lishy in, Two like this. So you can lift that upside in there to keep it nice and organized. You can see what's what. But the other thing I like about this, they're taking into effect that some lishies are double sided, especially automotive, they're double sided. Uh, so you actually have this little ridge that sticks up in the pocket here. You got this little lip so that when the lishy pick sticks up against that, it leaves space for the other handle. To sit down so it's not going to bend your picks out of alignment or bend them i should say the other thing i really love about this is the fact that it is magnetic i'm going to see if i've got anything here that's actually so as you can see that little ridge is magnetic so your lishies you can have this banging around in your car and flapping around and they ain't going anywhere. They are stuck in there. They're not going to slide and fall out like they might do with pockets. You know, you can literally bang this thing around. It ain't going anywhere. Those leashes are stuck. They are staying. Great thing about this case is what I like is it really holds it in. And they've taken these two things. In. Even though it's Chinese and usually the stuff from China is not the best quality. Um... I haven't seen any problems with this. Nice nylon backing, magnetic magnets in here that hold the picks down, along with the elastic, the elastic bands, the gap to allow for the two-sided picks. The fact that you can fit 28 lishies in here, you've got pockets either end, one on this side, you can throw your lishy key cutters in there, and as I've shown you on this end here, same thing. Another net pocket, and you can throw your blades in if you use one of these to cut and decode. Make a key temporarily. Um, you know, it's all thought out and all laid out quite nicely. So, you're probably wondering what leashes do I have in here? Well, I've kind of got mine organized so I've got automotive and residential. I keep the two separate. I do have an SC4. Sometimes we do have. Schlags here, they are not common at all, but we still have some here in Australia, so um, they usually use the SC uh, I, I haven't cut one but I do have them on hand just in case and that is the SH5 So, SH5 key blank here. So, we do come across them here in Australia. They aren't common at all. Um, but, yeah, we do have them. And I've sent the Lishy pick for it. So, I've got one of them here. We've got the quick set. Again, we don't really use quick set here in Australia. But, not that common. But we do come across some locks that it will actually work on. LW5, which also works for my LW4. Um, for picking both the five and six pin lockwoods, they use the L, the L locks that use the LW keyway. That's what I have the spaces for, so I can turn the six pin into a five. T2, the grain spurrow. Now, this will pick them really, really well. The only thing is the depths on this, what happens when you purchase from a non proper lishy pick producer. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a way to put that is this only has seven depths, when really a grains bar has nine. So I can pick it, I just can't decode the grains bar correctly. Um, I can probably decode it as long as it's not a nine depth. Um, you know, downside to, yeah. So that's my residential lishies. Uh, I might get a Yale one. I don't really come across Yales here. Um... But I might get one just in case for to round out my residential stuff. 
Automotive. I have the NSN 14. So this is a nice little pick here. This one does, and that, what I like about the the automotive ones is they also tell you so DRBT, so doors, boots. This is a 2016. NSN 14 V2. Um, this one is a double sided, but the, it's only got one picking arm, and you can decode either side and pick. It tells you exactly where you are. I have the MIT 8, and again, this tells you exactly what it picks into. So GM15, 19, it's got it all on here. Um, that one doesn't actually tell you if it does doors or anything, which, yeah. GM45, General Motors. This one is for the newer Holdens. So this actually tells you here again, ignition, doors, boot, what it will actually pick and get into. Uh, Holdens are very common here, General Motors. 45 is literally one of the most common ones and of course the HU66 which you've all seen me review before for this one tells you again ignition doors and boot so that looks after um, Skoda's and stuff like that I actually make jiggle keys for them um, for these instead of using the Lisha Peak you can actually use the jiggle keys which I produce and sell um, but that's my automotive stuff. I will get some more, um, for, you know, I might get one for Fords. I do have a Tibby pick. I use that majority for Fords because we have a lot of the Tibby locks on our Fords here. We don't, a lot of the newer Fords are going to the slide locks, but a lot of the older ones, Tibby, I've got a Magic Key as well that works quite well on them for picking them. Um, but... For a lot of, this is a majority of the automotive stuff that I do. These, if I don't use these, then I'm using, as I say, the Button Master or the Long Reach tool um, that I've got. So, anyway, that's enough <laughs> rambling about what Lish is. But the case itself, I have no problems with it. The stitching hasn't come undone. I love the fact it's got magnets, everything sticks in quite nicely and sits in there. Got two big pockets at either end. You've got plenty of room for all your lishies. And I mean, it just keeps them nice and neat and organised and together. I keep this, and it's not a hard case, it's actually soft. Um, but I keep this in the back of the vehicle, in the drawer. You know, I use lishies quite often, uh, quite a lot, uh, for residential and automotive blockouts. So literally, I know where all of them are. I can see where all my lishies are keep track of which ones I've got, which ones I don't, and when I'm ready or when I need to use it, I literally just grab it straight out, go over, pick the lock on the front door, unlock it, let the people in, and I'm done. Put it back in here, put it back in the, in the back of the ute. She's sorted. But, for 30 bucks, 27 to 30 bucks, um, with tax and everything, for a case, it's actually pretty bloody good, I have to admit. So, if you got your leashes, you collect leashes, get your hands on a case. Head over to AliExpress. You can pick these up on there. There's heaps and heaps of sellers. Find yourself a good deal and a seller with a really high um, percentage because, you know, that's a lot of higher... The higher percentage, the better the feedback, the more likely you are to get the product um, than the bad sellers on there, which I've had deals with in the past or run-ins with. But honestly... For the price and the time it takes to get here, it's definitely, definitely bloody worth it. So, get yourself one, especially if you, as I say, you can have a lot of leashes or you're planning on getting a lot of leashes and you can keep them all in the correct order, all categorised, so you have like residential, automotive, maybe padlocks, maybe SFIC, um, you can have a little pouch or a little one for each. But definitely bloody worth it. And I think it just looks neat, professional, especially when you turn up on a job. 
Highly, highly recommend. So, anyway, check out all the links in the description down below if you haven't already. Head over to our website, dap.com.au. The HG66, we make jiggle keys that will work on those locks. So you can purchase some of them while you're over on the website. We've got the Discord group where you can get a subscription to come and join us on there. We talk about a lot of this stuff, a lot of products, a lot of tools, a lot of knowledge. It's really, really bloody good. Highly recommend. <laughs> so anyway, check all that out. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed. The more that we grow, the more we can give back to the community and give back to you. And till next time, stay safe. Keep bloody legal. And uh, cheers, guys. And have some fun. Get a lishy. <laughs>